My name is Joey Waters. I'm a full-time student, and so as much you'd figure, I am completely broke. Great. More bills. Just what I needed. Of course I don't have enough money to pay it. I just told you that I'm broke. It's not like I'm irresponsible or anything like that. I, I have a job. I just already paid most of my money on other bills, and I still have another week and a half until payday. Right now, I could really use some luck. Looks like I might just have some luck after all. Besides, I'm pretty good at this game. For those of you who don't know the game of Hold'em, here it is in a nutshell. Each player is dealt two cards face down. There's a round of betting, followed by the community flop. Three cards dealt face up. These cards are used by everybody. There's another round of betting, which is followed by the turn card. More betting. And finally, the river. The player's goal is to make the best five card hand with their hand. Winner takes all the money. It's been known as one of the great and most well-known poker games. This is Danny Boy. Judging by the looks of this character, we have a tight player. Neat chips means a neat player. This guy won't get creative at all. He'll hide behind those big glasses and only play big hands. G-Man, he's the exact opposite of Danny Boy. This one is an actor, so everything he does and says is generally opposite of what he actually means. He's also a gum chewer, so when you call him out, he stops chewing. When that happens, he's in your hands. All right, Joey, let's do this. Go big or go home. After all, they don't call me the king of spades at all. They don't, they don't call me that, but maybe they will after tonight. Let's shuffle up and deal. Now, a bit on the cowboy. He's pretty well known here in the underground poker community. Not just because he puts on a good game of poker, but because he's completely obsessed with the Old West. He prefers to be the Doc Holliday of his time, which not only makes him one hell of an intimidating badass, but also one hell of a poker player. I was scared it would come down to this. Unlike G-Man and Danny Boy, I have no idea how to play against this guy. 
One thing I do know is that he can see right through me. Well, here we go. Let's start off with a big raise. See if he's got a hand or not. Time to go big. Let's try to push him out right here. Crap. He has the ace. This was a mistake from the start. I already put in so many chips. There's no way out of this now. Okay, Joey, keep it together. You can do this. I'll come over the top. He'll have to know I have the hand. Classic check raise move. Dang it, he sees right through me. I have almost all my chips committed to this pot. Looks like I'm all in. Looks like my straight flush beat his full house. And that's what will pay for school. Sometimes in order to win, you have to convince yourself that you just lost. Knew the cowboy would read my weakness. Tough guys like him always prey on the weak. It's a good thing you don't have to be big and intimidating to win. In this case, I won.